up, guys? It's your radio love, Deja Vu for WBLS-TV. We're here live at the New York premiere of Red Tails. You know, the movie that's been in the works for like over 20 years. Uh-huh, a George Lucas film starring Tristan Wiles, Terrence Howard, even R&B singer Neo. And we're going to give you all the scoop and the behind-the-scenes action right here on the New York red carpet. Tristan Wilde, he's one of the stars of the movie Red Tails. Tell us about your role. My character's name is Raymond Gannon. Uh, they call me Junior, and I, I'm fighting for the name Raygun. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm basically the youngest pilot, and uh, I'm just fighting for respect for my, for my uh, older comrades. I play David D. Watkins. I'm the spiritual leader of the Red Tails team. Uh, these men are just huge historical figures. The reason that we won the war, <laughs> pretty much, you know, and um, they're just great guys. They're so humble to be American heroes, uh, and they have so much life. But when we're in our teenagers, in our early 20s, the fear of death is not really part of what we're, 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 we're dealing with. You feel immortal, and that's why these guys are able to get in a tin can that flies and go and save the world, which is what these guys did, and they did it so brilliantly because they were also college educated. They were the cream of the crop. Uh, yeah, they were incredibly smart, and and you know, and they were the, the, the levels of self-sacrifice that you know they they knew that they were fighting a, a, a battle for respect back home in America and the the, the the freedom of the world abroad, and that's just an incredible thing for these young men to be to be doing. It's damn hard to shoot down the enemy a hundred miles behind the front lines. What we do, how well we do it, does it matter? And you all thought what? You'd sign up and that'd be the end of a hundred years of bigotry. Get your head up, son. You fighter pilots. We have a right to fight for our country, the same as every other American. We will not go away. So you are the director of Red Tails. Tell me the importance of that and how you are able to put your own spin on putting this story out there for people to see. Well, you know, first and foremost, it was very... Uh, stressful because we had a bar that was set and that bar was a Tuskegee Airmen and that was even very layered and complex and just realizing that they were excellent they were warriors you know heroes and black and you know it was just to be able to put to bed and help heal and be a, a cure to realize that we can do it and it can't be denied you know so just to be able to be a part of helming that was awesome. This is a story that your creator, Percy Sutton, uh -huh. wanted to be shown. It's a story that Lee Archer wanted to be shown. It's a story that a lot of African Americans, fortunately George Lucas picked up the mantle, put up the money, got the film produced, and got these great actors to do this. These are some of the best actors in America, even though not all of them are that well known. They did a great job. They learned to act like Tuskegee Airmen. They learned to. Walk. Did you show them a couple, two, things, two three things? I, I was a consultant. We did. We brought them over there, and they understood what it meant to be a fighter pilot, how you move as a fighter pilot, and what it meant to be a proud Tuskegee Airman. They bonded together, and as a result of this, they themselves will be thinking about this 50 years from now. This is a great experience for them, great experience for the community, and a particularly great experience for New York. I can't afford the kind of losses my bomber's been suffering. Can you help save lives? If you get us new planes, we can help your boys. Nothing's difficult. Everything's a challenge. Through adversity to, to the, the stars. stars. From the last plane to the last bullet to the last minute to the last man, we fight. 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 